Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. I've got some track timeline tips for you to help you navigate. Okay, I've been reading a few posts out there where people are having trouble once they get a timeline with a lot of tracks. There's only so many that can fit on there. And if you've got a smaller computer, a small screen, a small laptop, trying to navigate those can be a pain. The good thing is there are ways that you can change the size, customize it, and even save presets. Okay, I've got a fully loaded timeline with a lot of stuff that I can't even see. So let's look at different ways to navigate uh, and save presets. So I've got th some things that I can see, like this show opening here. Storm chasing. Um, other things like these parts the that I can see. There's overlays and collaborating. different cutaways. But there's also this lower graphic called the bug. I can't even see it. I can see something over here that I think is the overall LUT uh, for the whole show, but I still can't see everything. And I'm pretty sure there's some tracks down here. Now, if you wanna have a quick overview of the whole panel, double click on the name of the panel. This allows you to see everything in the timeline. Now, obviously it, it hides the rest of the interface, so it's not very useful but it's a really good way to quickly get a snapshot of where the heck is everything. And maybe you've got something several tracks above and you don't even need a bunch of tracks and you wanna consolidate that. Uh, so double click on the name again to bring it down. Okay, so over on the right hand side, just like the bottom, there's a scroll bar for the bottom and I always use the backslash key to zoom all the way out horizontally, but vertically, there is no option for that, but you can change these. You can drag them up and down. And what you're doing is you're changing the whole size of all of the uh, the tracks. Now, all of the video tracks here. And now when I make them small, I can see them. You can do the same for the audio too. Drag up and drag down and see everything. Now, I'm not a fan of moving all the way over there because I tend to have my left hand near the modifier keys and I use a scroll mouse or a trackpad or a touchpad a lot. So instead, I'll hold down the shift key and use my trackpad and use my scroll wheel and move this up and down. And it does the same thing. Okay, so let's go back to what a normal setting would be. So this is typical of the size that you'll get. If you double click on the header part, remember I'm not double clicking anywhere in the sequence, double clicking in here opens up that track to a size that's manageable. So a lot of times this could be the main part and your B-roll and titles and stuff are smaller above. Double click again and it goes back. Shift double click and look at this. All of them are now that size. Ooh, that's useful. Does it work for audio? Yes, it does. Shift double click, they're all that larger size. Now I can control on Windows or the command key on Mac and scroll. This is a way for you to scroll but keep them the right size because maybe when they're so tiny, you can't see a waveform. And let's talk about this middle bar. This middle bar separates the video tracks and the audio tracks. And a lot of times, if I'm really focusing on audio, I'll drag this all the way up, and that way I can have a larger area of audio. And of course, I can't get to my video, but many times I'm just working on a bunch of audio clips, and I can see everything, so when I'm playing things back, I can still see what I'm doing up here, but I'm maybe tweaking the position of some sound effects, Foley, music, or what have you. You could do the same with the video. Drag this all the way down, and now I'm just working on the video. The audio is down there. I'm gonna drag this back to the middle setting here. Now, there are also presets. 
and you can have keyboard shortcuts for these presets. So if you find yourself doing things like this a lot, why don't you uh, create presets? So let's create two. Let's create one all video and another one all audio to do what I just showed you. You can also go to the little wrench in this timeline, click on it, and use its navigation features like minimize all tracks, and now they're all small, expand all tracks, and now they're all large. I'm gonna go back to minimizing them. You can also save a preset and manage presets. So let's create an all audio preset first. So I'll drag this up and I'm holding shift and using my scroll wheel. So now I have a larger audio uh, section. I'll click on the wrench and save preset and I'll call it all audio. And here's where you can choose a keyboard shortcut. Now you're just name, you're just picking one here. Assigning them are in the keyboard shortcuts in the edit menu on Windows, in the Premiere Pro menu on the Mac. I'm not gonna use keyboard shortcuts right now. Click okay, let's do the same. I'll make the audio smaller, video bigger. Click, save a preset, all video. Now when I go here and choose all audio, boom, everything moves up, all video, boom. And I guess I could have made another one um, and had everything the way I like it in the default about that and that. Yeah, that sounds good. So let's create a new preset and I'll call it default. So I can quickly go back and forth between any of these. All video, all audio, and my default. And of course, even if you are using presets, you can still come over here and scroll around in here. Uh, I, like I said, I'm not a fan of this. I prefer holding the control key or the command key on Mac and scrolling over here. But so however you want to use the scrolling that I just showed you and or presets, um, it's really up to you. It's just, I've, I've heard people getting stuck with, how do I see my stuff? And it's easy to miss those tiny little scroll bars over on the right hand side. Now, one last thing I do wanna show you is that if you want to, you can come up to this separating area between the timeline and the program monitor and drag that up. It makes your program monitor smaller, but it does make this area much larger. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. Donate once monthly, any amount. There's tons of free stuff to download there. You can also contact me there if you need to uh, ask me some questions and maybe it turns into another tutorial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to keep my uh, ears and eyes open and uh, realize that Sometimes people are having trouble and maybe I need to turn this into a new tutorial to make it easier for you to navigate your ever-expanding timeline.